Hi everyone, it's Kathalia, and today is day 30, July 30th. Oof, made it. <laughs> it's the end of the challenge, and I'm going to talk about something today that has been on my heart ever since it happened or they have happened um, and I've never really had the guts to tell a lot of people about it especially openly about it um, obviously because I have shame about it and this is a vulnerability challenge and this message has been like creeping up in my head of like just say it already and I'm watching movies about it and I'm like all right then I saw a commercial that was like you know if you just say blah 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 that you will be helping so many other people so this is how I'm gonna phrase it one day I woke up, I was in my 20s, and I wake, woke up from a nightmare, and I realized that it, was, it wasn't a nightmare. It was the reality of one of my rapists. And I recognized that I was in my 20s and I was still repeating the in, the thing that happened. And when it happened, I was young. I was still in elementary school. I mean, unfortunately for me, it's happened more than once when I was young with, mm, on different occasions with different people. It's very difficult for me to talk about. I don't, like, you know, I, I don't, I don't know. It's obviously because of shame, but I know that if, I don't say that this has happened to me. It makes it hard for other women to come out and say it. And maybe even other children. Because I'll tell you, after that experience, I went and I told my friend. And, I mean, she wasn't that much older than me, but she was older. And she tried to confront the person, and the person was an adult. So... He just was like, oh, I didn't do that. Who were the both of us to have any power to you know, have evidence of it? I will say, though, I try my whole life to not be a victim because of it. I try my whole life to not feel victimized or allow my being a victim of many circumstances to hold me back from having healthy relationships, healthy sexual partners, and ever feeling this way because of what happened because I don't ever want what happened to me to become me because if I did then they would have won and I will never let bad experiences win over my happiness hope you learned from this experience that I'm telling you about and I hope that if any of you have ever gone through something like this 
that you're able to speak up. And if you're not able to speak up to a responsible, supposedly adult, then you find someone that will hear you. And if you still can't find someone, you keep going. There are so many resources nowadays that I think that it would be a lot easier. I tell this story also because I've had a friend's daughter have somebody do something to her and she never said it to her mother and I don't know why one day when she met me we were in the car and she somehow brought it up and I told her my story and my story started the whole process of getting him to go to jail I couldn't get any of the people that did what they did to me punished for what they did but I did at least help one person and I hope that through my story that I can help you because you can get through it it's not easy and it will take all the courage that you have but you can do it I look at myself as an as an adult and I remember a story of when my dad had his friend come snatch me out of the place that I was living in and his friend was taking me to his home and while we were driving across this bridge in San Francisco going to his house I vaguely remember what the name of the bridge was but it was apparently a really long bridge and I was maybe 13 at the time um however old you are when you're in junior high like the first year of junior high maybe or the year before junior high he said to me so what would you do if uh the car broke down and somebody tried to rape you <laughs> Well, <laughs> because I had already been raped multiple times before that, my answer was not one of a child's answer. And the way I delivered it was, well, if I were to be raped or tr someone tried to rape me right now, I would either die or kill them. And he was like, oh, no, 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 no. Wouldn't you just let this person rape you so that, you know, you would stay alive? I was like, no, nope, that's not the way I think. It's either I die or they die. That was it. Didn't say anything to me. For the rest of the ride to his house. <sighs> Rape is one of the harder things that you can go through in a woman's life or even a man's life because men get raped too. Boys, little boys get raped too. It is not, it is not easy for anybody to have their power or their body invaded without their permission. It's like I said again, if you ever need help, there are so many resources now, so many. So please reach out if you've already been raped and need someone to talk to. 
there are also a lot of counseling types of counseling out there for you if you can't find any information you can always put a comment on my page and i will help you look for it have a great day guys i hope you learned something from this today like it if you like what i said subscribe if you haven't already and please share this with anybody who you think needs to know and i will be back soon because i recognize that it's better if i do a video more often than less often so see you soon everybody love you